Hi, thanks for joining me. It's Michelle Sturgeon with Come Stamp With Me, coming to you from Ontario, Canada. And today I'm introducing something brand new. It's called Two for Tuesday. So every Tuesday I'll be uploading a video featuring two projects made with one stamp set. So today is my first Two for Tuesday, and we are going to be using the Dino Day stamp set and the matching dies, obviously, and the Dino Roar designer series paper. Um, so those are all the cute patterns um, of the paper. So the top and the bottom of each one is the flip side. So th this is on the back of that. So uh, there's some really fun, uh, you know, fun patterns there for both girls and boys. And now I will show you the two projects we're going to do. So this is one card. It's featuring um, the, the dinosaur and the designer series paper. And here's the other card. This card had a bit of an accident. Um, an ink pad fell on it. So that's where the pink is. Where, where that pink is on the white, that's not supposed to be there. So pterodactyl is supposed to be there. Brontosaurus is supposed to be there. Your Rorsum is supposed to be there. The little splooches, not supposed to be there. So that's why you should always close your lids of your ink pads so accidents don't happen. So let's go ahead and get started on card number one. We need scrap paper to stamp on. I had it right here. Where did it go? There we go. It was buried. Okay. So I'm going to flip you down and we will get started. All right. So I'm going to stamp my Brontosaurus first. And he's going to get stamped with a uh, pretty peacock. So here we go. And with the bigger images, I always put the, the image I stamp this way, the ink hitting the image instead of this way because it doesn't really fit on the block really well and I don't want to get lines over on the ink. So I always do it like that. Then I will press down. Oh, he didn't ink very well at all. Let's try that again. Yeah, I don't like that. There, that's better. Then I'm going to do the pterodactyl in lovely lipstick there we go and those are the only two images that I need to cut out on my big shot so I'm going to go ahead and put my big shot right under the camera so you can see what I'm doing so even though I'm using the magnetic platform I'm still going to I still want to keep my dies from moving around, especially when I'm cutting out multiple dies at once. So I'm going to place the die in the right spot for my pterodactyl. I'm going to put a piece of washi. Now the reason I'm using washi is because I have an abundance of it, because I always buy washi when it comes out, and I never use all of it. So I always have washi left over. Actually, I'll use this piece. So and and it's a low tack type of tape, which means that whenever you uh, peel it off, it won't rip your paper. So there we go, he's out. He fell right out of there. He was like, I can't wait to get out of this paper. So as you can see, the washi tape did not rip the paper at all. And they're reusable. So we'll put those back where they're supposed to go. Put this over to the side. Now I want to add a little bit of something to my dinosaurs. So on the pterodactyl, I'm going to add a little bit of these scales. I'm 
adds a little bit of detail there. It's just color on color, but it's cute. And on my Brontosaurus, go away. I'm going to add some right on his back. There we go. I'll put that away. All right. So now I'm going to assemble my card. I can't find my snail, so I'm using my Tombow glue. I looked, I looked prior to doing this video, and I didn't want to wait much longer because it's almost my bedtime. Uh, my daycare starts very early in the morning, so I go to I tend to go to bed early. There we go, and I will have the measurements for this uh, the cards on my blog. So this guy is going to get glued straight down. He's not going to be popped up, but the pterodactyl will be popped up. And I'm going to use mini glue dots for his body and head, but I'm going to use the lar the regular size glue dot, or not glue dots, dimensionals. I'm going to use the regular size um, for his wings. And we'll set him aside for now. And I will glue Bronte down. We could call this one Emily. Emily Bronte. Emily Brontosaurus. There we go. And before I glue the pterodactyl down, I want to take my old olive and put my sentiment in. And the sentiment says, You're roarsome! And it's going to go right there. And then Terry, the pterodactyl, is going to go right there. So these guys are friends. Terry and Emily, they're friends. And then that, I decided I was going to pop up. So I usually use five dimensionals when I'm popping on a card. Four corners and the middle just to give it a bit of stability, especially if you're mailing. All right, and then that goes right in the middle there. And card number one is finished. And of course, you can do the inside however you want. You can stamp on the inside. There's some cute footprints. Um, actually, let me see if I can, I'll do the inside, because there's some cute accessories. snail. Found it. Um, all right, so there's these little uh, footprints that, that I think I might use. I'll grab this block here. And I think I'll do it in the blue. I'll just have a couple of little footprints going along the bottom here. disappear off the edge and maybe we'll stamp Terry again up at the top here there. all right so that'll be our inside and we'll go ahead and now that I've got my snail you know, things are right in front of my face, and I can't see them. I don't understand that. I think I'm getting old. So there, we've got our insert and a cute little card. So that's our first one for our Two for Tuesday. Now we're going to go ahead and do this guy. So I'm just going to go ahead and close my ink pad that I'm not using, because if I don't, disaster will follow. And I'm not using old olive. I'm using Daffodil Delight and Pretty Peacock. OK. 
Okay, and I'll put my glue away. So let me get back my piece that I was stamping on earlier. And we're going to do this guy, this T-Rex with the tiny arms in Daffodil Delight. And his scales or spinies, whatever they're called, they're his spinies are going to be done in that color. What else am I cutting out? Oh, that's it for this one. All right, get the big shot back up here. Okay, and again. So, T-Rex, tiny T-Rex. It's hard to make, to make sure that my dies are in the right place when I'm doing it upside down like that. And his spine. I did the spine too close to cut him out at the same time. Silly, silly me. Now, when you are placing your die for this this particular, for the back, for the spiny, this, when you're placing it, you want to make sure that you're leaving, you're, you're, you're putting your die so that it's cutting out this, the spikes and you're going to have this white piece there. And there's a reason for that. So whenever you go to attach it to the dinosaur, you have a place to glue. So, that's a very important. All right. Bye, Big Shot. Until next time. So, spine. So, see, you've got all this white space. That's a lot of space to add glue to be able to put that onto your dinosaur image. There he is. I love these new dies. They fit so close to uh, to the image. So, best way for me to do this is Tombow liquid glue. I put the liquid glue in the white area. That's too much. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit off of there because that's too much. Then put that down, and we'll take tiny. Tiny T-Rex, and I want to make sure his arms are going, see there, if you look closely, you can see that there's kind of a gap between the two triangles there. That's where I want his arm to go. So his arm's gonna go there, and if you, if you aim for that, you're gonna get it placed exactly perfect. All right, I don't know why I did that. And like the other one, like our Brontosaurus, I want to add some detail on to the T-Rex. So I have to clean that, put that in the yellow, and I'm going to add it right kind of on his belly. Lots of dots there on the belly. So there it adds just a little bit of added detail. Now comes the fun part. And again, I will have all these measurements on the blog post. But oh wait, I need to I need to do his word. So this word that we've got in here, it says, I love you this much. This much. But he's a he's he's small. His arms don't go very big. So it's this much. And it says, I love you this much. It's more than it looks. I think that's funny. So there we go. That stamped out and then I want to flag it just to flag it so there's people that use the tag punch to do their flags and they measure and they put the halfway mark down with pencil and everything else that's a lot of work for me I just do my flags with the scissors free it I free I look at it and do it as best I can ain't nobody got time for that well, people do, but not me. I'm lazy. I'm a lazy stamper. There we go. That's on there. Now, I got my piece of designer series paper with the eggs. And I 
really don't know what the actual spacing of the lines is in this card. Um, I do know that I eyeball it most of the time to make sure. Well, I can't make sure. I just do the best I can. You know what? It doesn't have to be exact. It's not an exact science. It's creative. It's creative science. Is there, is there such a thing as creative science? There we go. This, I love, love, love this pattern. I love those greens and the blues together with that little bit of yellow. It makes me very happy. And this one, so the opposite side of that. It's a fun little dinosaur. So just by eyeballing it, it looks pretty well evenly spaced. So I'm not really sure how to tell you to do that except follow your instinct and do the best you can. I'm also going to tell you that the blog post probably won't be up tonight because it is fairly late and I do need to get to bed. But the blog post will be up tomorrow, so it'll be Wednesday. So this video is going up Tuesday night. The blog post will be there Wednesday, so you can come back, check the blog post, and it will have all the measurements for the card. And Tombow for my dino. So if anybody else out there teaches or does home daycare or works in a daycare center and their day starts at 6 a.m. and your kids start coming in and they're very excited to see you and they start talking and they don't really stop until home time at 5.30, you won't understand why I'm in bed by 8.30 some nights. Actually, there are some nights I don't even make it past Jeopardy. I have fallen asleep during Jeopardy and that's the first Jeopardy at 7 p.m. Alrighty. I love you this much. It's more than it looks. So that's our second card. So these are the two cards on Two for Tuesday featuring the Dino Day stamp set and the Dino Roar designer series paper in these very beautiful colors. And my inky fingers. Whoa. If you don't have ink on your fingers, have you really created anything? There we go. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, as I said, I'll have my blog post tomorrow. Um, but you can still, if you want to order any of these products, you can uh, just hit the, uh, I think I've got it my, um, in, my, in the description of the video, I'll have my website link. You can uh, follow the link to my website. Place an order. If you're in Canada, you can place an order. It will get shipped to you direct anywhere in Canada. All right. Thanks for watching, and have a great Tuesday. We'll see you later.